Good day guys. I hope everybody's alright and y'all enjoying the episodes and stuff like that. Well today I have a new episode for y'all. Let me get right into it. Now on my way back to Jamaica um to start back with school and stuff I was um in the airport of course making my way along the check-in process and I just fast track it to where the action is which is when we reach the security checkpoint now first of all I checked in pretty much early I reached in the security line as well about half an hour before the flight 20 minutes 20 minutes to half an hour before the flight and um, to, when I when I watched this line, this line was like really, really long. So I was like, all right, well, I mean, the plane is right there. So say what? I don't mind waiting. I kind of enjoy flying. So no biggie for me. Wait my turn, waiting my turn now. When I reach for my turn, I walk through the metal detector going in normal. My bag, but, but carry on, pass through the machine. Normal, normal, normal. When I go on to pick up my bag now to go to enter the plane, the security guard, right, open my bag and apparently doing a search. I was like, well, you know, them, when them in the airport, them better than everybody. You can't tell them nothing. I said, well, carry on, I have nothing to hide. So you well searching and thing, you fine three liquids one is an astringent one is a um i think one is a hairspray and one is something else but more in a liquid sense but not fully liquid like water water you know it's like a, a mixture um nothing was really liquid except the astringent but the astringent almost done so he was like oh he have to sees these and they have to throw it away if not i can't go on the aircraft with this bag now when he's talking to me i feel as though rain falling the man had one spit him out one spit him out you hear what i say spitty mouth that is his nickname from me because when he talking my whole face wash with saliva so i was like oh, okay all right you carry on you carry on you carry on you throw it away that your business me yeah, too really care too much it's like all right i mean just forget that small thing he well spitting up spitting up spit them out i was like what the hell is this but when i pick up my bag and i get ready to go inside the plane now and what I was greeted in the plane with, it made me think. You see, when it starts to rain, it is real poor, you know. I deal with spit him out. Now, when I walk in the plane, so you walk through the little tunnel, you make your little right turn now, and you, you enter in the, the door of the plane. Now, I'm real excited, eh? Because I, to me, I think the best thing in the world is to fly a plane. And I fed up, fly a plane, eh? Fed up. So I well excited man when I reach inside the plane. I say, but wait a minute. Like I walking in the wrong section. Because all I smell in is dead people. I said, this scent not right. I smell in all kind of animal. I smell in bison, bulldog, um, goat. All kind of thing. Dead rat. I was like, but something is not right in this plane. Now, I was like the last person to enter the plane. So, the, 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 all the body, all the body, um, scent add up to a big figure, you know. You can't add this off your head. You had to put this in calculator because this was a big scent. I smell in all kind of dead animal. I said, but this plane is a lot train. This place is a latrine. So, 
I was like, but okay. Then he ate uh, flight attendant say, okay, welcome aboard and so on and so on. Let me see your boarding pack. She says, seat is five, eh? All right. Um, first whatever on your left and so on. When I walk in any plane, no, I mean, I already under pressure because spit him out, the bad scent in the plane. Now, me and if people farting up on these kinds of stories, eh? Because what I've come to realize, what this story here, when I'm going to get my seat, well, let me get to the seat situation. When I reach inside my seat now, my row, I see 5A. Now, 5A is a window seat. So it's like um, two ladies is seated in 5B and 5C. B being the middle seat, C being the aisle seat. Now, you know, economy, me and the money to go first class every time. So I say something about the economy. So when I reach now, um, this, I said, well, excuse me, um, my seat is 5A. I'd like to get to my seat. She said, um, she could look to turn around and tell me. Yeah, she big time Grammy winning joke, eh? Um, you can't sit somewhere else? You can't sit somewhere else? I said, um, well, in planes, we are usually assigned seats. And my seat is 5A. Um, and I'd like to have my seat. She could look to turn around and tell me, oh, oh, somebody don't know a joke. No, to me, I was shocked. I was flabbergasted. I was like, um, next time you should warn me. I was like, okay, get ready for the joke because I already get the joke. Um, you cast it down something. I was like, really, I don't catch that joke. I'm sorry. Um, so I was like, um, when she, after she says somebody don't get you, I said, clearly, I didn't get the joke. But anyway, she pulled up newspaper something and I go in my seat. When I sit down now, well, boy, I just, Relax, taking some deep breaths. Then after I see the lock up the door, now and I see she passed on with her air freshener. She's spraying up. Pss, pss, pss. I say, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Now, some of them she can spray that in here. Some of them she had to go in the face and spray it. Spray the whole body. Now, I ain't smelling what kind of animal. I'm telling you, these are real rugged, bad sense, you know. I don't know where these sense come from, but I mean, hello, sometime country does come to tongue, right? And not only country does come to tongue, um, people just feel, people just want to treat these planes and them like it's a country bus. But no, man, you have to come, you have to well build up yourself and put on your nice perfume and thing. Because I mean, you know, you go meet on the plane, you know, go sit on next to, you had to, you know, carry on yourself nice and neat. But some of them, you can take the people out of the ghetto, but you can't take the ghetto out of the people. I really don't know. So anyway, that's it for episode number seven. And I don't know what I can do to prevent these things in hap um, from happening in the future. Maybe I should walk with my own little air freshener. Or oh, maybe walk with a blanket and um, a, a handkerchief and spray some perfume in it and, you know, walk in a plane like that. Because, I mean, sometimes these things are really unexpected. I mean, scents like these, when they hit you, you don't know what can happen. What can happen to you internally, externally, and these things. But no, man, people, when they're flying plane, all they need to do better than that. All they really need to do better than that. Especially here in the Caribbean. Okay? Look out for episode 8. Coming very soon. Enjoy later. With the girl with the bumper bling. With the girl who could bounce the ting. Captain's bunny walk up train.